Hi, this is Eula and I am revolutionizing Notion experiences. In this video, I will be giving you a tour and step-by-step -step tutorial of the Notion language learning template. If you haven't already, you can get it at eulacreations.gumroad.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting Notion content and template. Now, let's dive into the tour. First, you'll see the list of languages you are learning, along with some data on your progress. This includes your proficiency level, current progress, the number of words you've learned, the number of words you've mastered, and the time spent learning each language. Next, there's a call-out block for quick navigations to all the databases in this template, as well as the quick buttons for easy adding of new words or sentences you are learning, as well as adding learning sessions. You can add more to these buttons that will suit your workflow. Below that, you'll find the learning tracker for each language. It displays the time you've spent learning the language today, this week, and this month. Now, let's move on to the vocabulary builder. Here, you can review the words you've learned. If you tick the show translation checkbox, you can view the English translation of each word. You can assign a language to the language filter to have a more focused learning session of the language you are currently learning. Next up is the sentence builder, which serves as a database for all the sentences you've learned. Similar to the vocabulary builder, checking the show translation checkbox will display the English translation of the sentence. Following that, you'll find a list of all the language learning resources you have. The table view allows for easy editing of resource properties. I will discuss all the properties available here shortly. Continuing down, you'll come across a section for tracking your learning sessions. Below that, you'll see a more comprehensive overview of your language learning journey. This includes monthly and yearly summaries of your progress. Now that we have covered the tour, let's learn how to manage your own language learning dashboard. First, let us set templates to default for easy setup. To do this, go into each database and click the collapse button next to now. Then, click the three dots beside the template and select set as default. Repeat this step for every database. After that, we can now add the languages we are learning. For this demonstration, I will just add one. Click New and input the name of the language. For practice, I suggest that you input the name in the writing system of the language you are learning. Change the flag icon and add a cover for visual appeal. Set your proficiency level. You can find the definitions for each level under the other info and navigation, then proficiency level. Let us go back to our language learning page. Input the number of words you want to learn. Adding a page will generate a new page focused solely on that language. All databases on this page will be automatically filtered except for this table. You need to set the filter to the name of this page, so it only shows data for the current language you're viewing. Before exploring further this page, let's create the yearly and monthly trackers for this language. Close this page and click Yearly Tracker in the navigation. Input the year and set the language. For this demonstration, I will just create two years. Go back to the language learning dashboard, then click monthly tracker in the navigation. Take note that we need one set of the 12 months for each year in each language. I advise that you input the name of the month in the writing system of the language you are learning. This will not only help you in getting more immersed in the learning process, but it will help a lot when you are setting the filters in certain databases. Let's create the first set and assign the year and the language. To duplicate the months, hover over this area, tick the checkbox, and press Ctrl D or Command D. Then uncheck the first box of the duplicated items and check it again, then change the year accordingly. Now, we can continue our setup on our language learning page. Let us now add some words that we are learning. Click New and input the word you are learning. For word types, you can find their definitions under Other Info and Navigation, then Word Types. When adding words, you can indicate their level of mastery. Level 1 is the lowest and Level 3 is the highest. Take note that you cannot add more to these levels, and you cannot change the name of the levels unless you know how to change the formulas in this database. Input the translation as well as the month added. If you do not want to input the month manually every time you add a word, you can set the filter to the current month, but remember that you need to change this filter whenever the month changes. 
You can also do this in the other databases. Now, let us add a sentence. Fill up the necessary information. Under the words used property, you can record the words used in each sentence. You can also add some notes to assist you in your learning process. Next, you can add the language learning resources you are using in this section. Input the name and type of the resource. Then input where you use it for, such as in learning grammar, vocabulary, etc. You can also input the URL to the resource if there is one. Now, you need to find ways to track your progress with these resources, such as the number of pages read in a book or the chapters completed on a website resource. For books, input the total number of pages under ceiling and the number of pages you've already read under accomplished. Now let's track your learning progress. Go to the learning tracker and add a new session. Check the relevant boxes if you learned the language today through speaking, writing, etc. If you tick all four boxes, you'll have a learning streak, which will be displayed here. To track the total time spent per learning session, open the task and click Start Session before beginning your language session. The start time will be recorded automatically. When you finish the session, click the End Session button, and the total time spent learning will be calculated automatically. This data will also be added to your daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly statistics for each language you are learning. That concludes our tutorial. If you are interested in more of my templates, check them out at ulacreations.gumroad.com. I offer a variety of free Notion templates that will revolutionize your Notion experience. For updates and Notion tips, follow me on social media. And remember to like and subscribe.